Welcome to Samathai. At the beginning of each round, the designated Psalm will place their bottle of wine in a bag to conceal its identity. Whether you are playing with one permanent Psalm that provides all wines, or if each player is taking turns being the Psalm, they will pour a glass of wine for each player. Each player will make a pre-call to give their best guess at the wine using the Samathai method of deductive tasting. To learn more about the method, check out the link in the description. Everyone chooses a game piece and places it on the start zone. The stack of bottle shocks should be shuffled and placed in their designated spot on the board. Players roll to see who goes first. The game moves clockwise thereafter. Note, if playing with fewer than four people or four wines, players may choose to roll only one die. It's up to the group. The first player rolls and advances on the board until stopped by a door. Cellar doors are locked and prevent players from moving forward. They may only be opened if the player who lands there correctly identifies the corresponding call for the wine. The sight call unlocks cellar door number one. For white wines, players guess straw or yellow gold, which are lumped together only for this door. For red wines, players guess thin-skinned or thick-skinned. If the player answers incorrectly, the cellar door remains locked and the player is teleported to the previous cellar door or start area. If the player correctly identifies the call, they have unlocked the door for all players. Unlocking a cellar door gives you two advantages. You receive one point in the game and also get to take a ride on the juice slide. Since the keys used at the cellar doors are public information, the next player to use them has a slight advantage. They can cross-check the information against their call. Players do not have to stick with their pre-call guess. If a player lands directly on an unlocked cellar door, they may also ride the slide. The red question marks on spaces are bottle shocks. When a player lands on a bottle shock, they draw a bottle shock card, which can provide good fortune or punish whoever draws it. In this case, they must move back two spaces. Note that players only draw bottle shocks on their primary roll. If they are moved onto another bottle shock space by other forces, they do not draw a card. Make sure to keep some wine in your glass throughout the game as you'll want to keep sipping to determine the grape characteristics. At cellar door number two, players must correctly identify whether the wine is moderate minus, moderate, moderate plus, or high acidity. At cellar door number three, the player must unlock the door with the aromatic intensity call for whites and tannin call for reds, tannin using the same moderate to high call. Once a player reaches the grape divide, they must decide if they think the wine is new world or old world. When a player reaches either the new world or old world call zone, they declare what type of grape and country the wine is from. Players may only call wines from Europe in the old world and vice versa. If they're wrong, they must move back to the grape divide and await their next turn. The round is over when someone correctly names the wine. They receive eight points. The Psalm can now reveal their mystery wine to everyone. The Psalm now tallies up all scores. Players receive two points for each category called correctly on their pre-call. So two points for New World or Old World, two points for the grape, and two for the country. The pre-call score is added to the points scored for unlocking cellar doors, as well as the final eight points awarded by calling the wine correctly on the board. All these points carry over to the following rounds to determine a winner at the end of the night. You're now ready to play Somify, a blind tasting wine game.